So this is the, the Silverstein property in uh, Westport. We've got some more landscaping in the rear yard. Um, it's this sort of bramble area that's got all the forsythia. Andres kind of interested in seeing a proposal. There's a lot of upper canopy. When this tree leaves out, this corner is going to be deep as dark as Africa. So shade tolerant, a large growing, anything I can think could potentially be uh, rhododendron max maximum or perhaps um, hemlocks along this border. The distance from the edge of the canopy of the spruce tree over there to basically that join, which is kind of where the root of that tree is, is 42 feet. Um, there are two sort of scrubby little trees in here, which I'm not sure we'd propose removing um, or leaving, um, but we'd have to work around those uh, two little saplings. One's here and one's there. Uh, but the rest of the stuff in here is for Scythia. On another note, when the guys came to prune, they left some debris, this big old piece, as well as a big old pile of logs in the back that they apparently cut off this tree. Next time our crew's in town, could this please be removed? Um, another landscaping issue um, or request. This small bed that runs along the, the little knee wall there is not terribly pleased with this planting. Um, and so he's hoping to um, have this redone and renovated. Um, I did point out if we put too many flowers in, it does tend to attract bees, which people often don't like around their pool, but it's something that we should have a look at and come up with a new proposal. And then lastly, this grill, water, whenever it rains, despite the fact he has a cover for it, catches and is trapped inside of this grill, which is obviously a problem because that's where the transformer is switched. So he's put this bucket here to try and catch it all because there's a, a tray up here that catches the water. Um, but he's hoping if there may perhaps be some way to be able to drill a hole in the side of the wall here. We come around the other side, you might be able to, I'm not sure if you can see, but we can put it behind the boxwood closer to the ground it doesn't have to be flush and level down here he's like you know say if we get like an inch or two of water it'll reach the hole and start to drain by itself because um, he's tired of emptying this bucket so I don't know if there's a way of catching this tube and then funneling it um, somehow um, I'm not sure we'll have to work on that but that is another thing he'd like to see if we could perhaps take care of and that's it. Thanks so much.